And in road rage news, submitted by Bree, a brawl breaks out on the highway after a white couple cuts off a Latino family. You haven't done that in a while. I don't know why the race has anything to do with road rage. <laughs> well, I cut off all races. <laughs> so it does have to do with it because in the original headline it says that uh, this white couple cut off this Latino family and called them beaners. So they made it a, they made it. That makes sense. Beaner never offended me. Me neither. I'm like, it's I fucking cute. love beans. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I eat. I fucking love rice beans. and beans. That's my Are jam. Are you serious? So someone cut you off. <laughs> and called you a beaner. And then, and then you're Well, it's mad. always, it's the intent, right? Because they go, you like, fucking beaner, learn how to drive. Well, if they were like, you fucking pretty, I'd be like, fuck you. You know what I mean? So it's <laughs> yeah. the intent behind the words. Yeah, yeah even wetback <laughs> never got to me. I, I never understood where did wet back because come from. Because there's the the, re, the the river yeah, that some we, Mexicans. Yeah, we had to cross the river to get over. I thought it was a sweaty. That's like, a really sure. childish insult. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, beaner? Wet back, like beaner. Yeah. Like that's really. Those yeah. don't cut deep. What's another one? Nigger. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. <laughs> I just want to see everybody's face. Like, I'm not even. Oh. I'm not even black, and that hurts me, man. Everybody was just like, oh, what you, I don't know what to do. Never heard it. That's the thing, though. I don't care if you say nigger to me. But nigga, yeah, oh, we gotta yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. You said yeah. that R, and I'm like, damn. Hard R's. That cut me. You know, hard R's. What about you. spick? Is that does that hurt? What does that, that come from? Hispanic. Hispanic. When he said that, Hispanic. I've never heard spick for Hispanic. Yeah, no, people have. I've heard of it, but I haven't ever been called that. Like I've been called wetbag and beer. Nopalera hurt me. What's that? Bit. What's that? Like uh, nopales is cactus, it is. which we eat. Yeah, yeah. but then it's more oh. for like the indigenous, I don't know, people. Yeah. So they're calling you like Indian. What's wrong being Indian? Uh, I don't know, just the way it was said, it's just yeah. like, damn, that's so mean. You know, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, like, racist terms that you wouldn't even know were racist. Indian giver is a racist term. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't even make yeah. sense, because they say, like, like, if you give somebody something and you take it back. It's a bad trade. It's rude. But the Indians, they didn't give yeah, nothing. They, didn't they, they got it, it, took it away from right, them. It's not true. even correct. Right. Yeah, but they lost the war, so we get to call them whatever we want. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I'm saying a lot of these things, even like. Eskimo kisses. Like Eskimo? Es es Eskimo? Uh-huh. That's like a. Not a very. You're supposed to call Eskimo them. Eskimo is, is Inuit. That, Inuit. See, I don't, I don't Inuit. Agree. I disagree. With wait, that. wait, you can't say Eskimo. Eskimo is hilarious, and it's it's time. Because their rivals called them that, like as a derogatory. So then, when I guess like white people were like, oh, what are the, what is that tribe called? And they're like, oh, they're Eskimos or something. You know the one that I find really um interesting that it's very offensive, and I understand why it's offensive is because of the intention put behind it, but like Japs. I don't know. Why for either. Japanese. Yeah, like, it's not, you can't say like Japs. Well, My grandma sure it's did. more like <laughs> the historical. <laughs> it's more like the historical tie to that word, like yeah. the word. So I get um, it, but colored people. Yeah. It's like there's nothing wrong with the word. It's just the historical usage of the word. Mm -hmm. Jungle bunny. Jungle bunny. What's that one? They call that that bunny? To black people. Jungle bunny. Bunny, that's Jungle cute. Bunny. That sounds kind of cute. You know, I remember this white dude called me that when I was young. I beat his ass. What does it mean? I don't even know, but I knew it was disrespectful. He was like, shut up, you fucking <laughs> I love it. I was like, I'll beat your ass. What if he was trying to be your best friend? No, he uh, said shut the fuck up. Oh, shit. He started he it wrong. He tried to close the door, but the door didn't close all the way. Uh-oh. Oh, he yeah. fucked up. Oh, that's a that's a jungle bunny? Yeah, that, yeah. I, I was like, I got your jungle bunny. Have you guys heard of uh, Dago? No. Dago? I have oh, heard that. They said that in Untouchables. When Sean, Connery, yes. got, when Sean Connery calls somebody a Dago bastard. Yes. What does that mean? Yeah. I don't know what it means, but I've heard it because of the movies. Like I heard that paddy Diego? wagon is a derogatory term. What's that? Paddy, paddy wagon. wagon, like you know, you know, yeah. the police have it. I've heard Apparently, it. Irish people used to drink a bunch, and they used to just put them in the thing, and they would call it a. It's it's like aimed toward Irish people. What is it though? That's they call it paddy wagon. Is it an actual paddy wagon? wagon? No, like they were. Just, I guess when they would get drunk, they would just round them up, and they would just be like, "Oh, that's the paddy wagon," and it would be. Irish people. Yeah. Well, I'm probably explaining it wrong, but if you look it up, there's some. Have you guys heard WAP? Yeah. Wop. What was? What is WAP? It? I think it's Italian. Oh, they call them WAPs. But I don't know why. Right. Like I, when you watch those like mafia movies, they're like, oh, he's a WAP or yeah. whatever. White people don't get no bad cracker, racer. cracker oh, or honky, good. honky, yeah. honky's yeah. not good. White Redneck. trash, white trash. I prefer white trash. Yeah. There's red. White trash is just straight to the point. White yeah. trash. Like okay. there's no having not a weed between it. the lines there. Just white. My trash. family for ten years of my childhood had a double wide trailer parked in the front lawn. <laughs> We're white trash. Oh right? shit. Yeah, with shit growing around. It and stuff. Wow. Damn, that's white trash. Hillbilly, yeah. redneck. Red. Yeah, those are good. Those are good. Sister fucker. None are. Yeah, sister, sister fucker. fucker. That's a thing. <laughs> sister fucker. I've never heard sister fucker. Oh, I don't know. There's I think so many. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. 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 There's. Hella. Anyway, back to the story oh, okay. here. Oh yeah. So we're gonna watch them fight. So we uh -oh. are gonna watch. Yes. Them fight. And the license plate is one three two six zero C two. 
<laughs> so they call the police. Right There's a Latin family calling the police. Yeah. Oh, they're so mad. What the See? fuck are you gonna do? That's Woo! a double date. Don't fight. say that to people no, if you don't no. want to fight. No. What's up, homie? You can tell the dude can't fight. Why did she push him back? You just Why did they both the walk out the car just bitch? to no, keep watching? Because they never fought keep before. Watching. What a dumb bitch. Yeah, get her. Uh oh, okay. Them. Is that a lady and a guy? Yeah, it's two couples. Oh, he got out of flip flops and beat him up? Oh, shit. Nah, see, he, I knew he couldn't fight. You could tell. He's not doing anything. He's talking too much. He, oh! He's big for nothing. Don't play for fi Don't play with oh, fire. Why'd you, why'd you walk up to the car? Listen, listen, listen. Oh! Please help me. Oh. <laughs> you saw that swing? There's cars that are gonna get you. Oh, you saying, oh. no, please, no, please. The white guy. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, she, oh, oh. <laughs> Nobody got can fight. Beat her out of shirt? <laughs> How they beat them out their clothes, both of them. That's and they the do not have the body motion. for that. That's the most slow motion fight I've you ever get witnessed. Get your half naked ass out of here. How do you walk out of a car with intent to fucking kick someone's ass and not do yeah. shit? And then get your ass beat. I mean, really, <laughs> and who your won? Shirt's taken I off. think everyone lost that fight. No, the Mexicans won that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or people won that. But there are people left with half the outfit they showed up with. Who does that? They were able to walk away, though. What did they, what did they expect? Was it just a shouting match? Like, I'm going to walk up to this car. Like, I'm going to beat their ass and go, what are you doing? Yeah, maybe you can explain that, Steve. I don't know what go, what goes on, um, but it is very... Common, it's weird. Like for white people to come up aggressively, okay. oh, yeah. but then not get violent. Yeah. But then... On behalf of all white people, <laughs> <laughs> as I mean, I'm so often do. Uh, white ambassador, please teach us. Cowards are just cowards. I mean, you, you you just you just you're fucking angry, and then you you, you don't have anything to do. But they were cowards with the brave yeah. swagger, because they were walking up well, as if know, something like, oh, was gonna like happen. They had done this before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They probably, you up. They probably grew up unchecked, yeah. and it's and it's been cool this whole time. So, like, they were gonna intimidate people. So what happened before they pulled over is that the white couple was trying to cut the Latino family off on mm -hmm. the freeway on the 118. That is here in California, but I don't know where. It's a completely legal driving maneuver, by the way. No, but it's very legal. I don't even know where the 118 is. It's probably some like meth area. <laughs> <laughs> is 118 Wrightwood? We're like, no, that's like the. I yeah, know it's it east. So I've been on the 118 before. It says it's mountain, in so Mountain Cal. High. I don't know where. It seemed like everything was cool until they said Beaner. And it was like, oh, they activated yep. some shit. So they were trying to cut him off in that when they said beaner? No. When they so was walking when up they to came the car. Out. Oh. Like, leave him alone with some beaners. So they were trying to cut him off. And from, like, I don't know exactly what happened after that moment. But that's when Latino family started calling the cops. And then the white couple, they pulled over. And then they came out and they were talking shit to them. And then that's when the white couple was like, they ended up saying, like, oh, you fucking beaners or whatever. And then. Who was filming the whole time? The daughter. The daughter. They were getting all nervous in the back when it got real. They were like, oh, yeah, what it is, what it is. Like, shut up. You was filming this in Excited two minutes ago. Yeah. Now they so, got real. You're afraid. So, yeah, that was the Latino <laughs> family's, like, kids or whatever. Oh, they're all stupid. Then, yeah. That's when the, the parents, the Latino parents, were like, oh, you want to call me? A beater bitch, and then they started beating him up. This is how you know the Mexican dude had no confidence in the in the white guy's hands. He came out in flip flops. Yep. And <laughs> kicked his ass. You know how confident you have to be to fight someone in flip flops? Yeah. Because I'd be second guessing. Your toes are exposed. Dude, I always think about that too. Where I'm like, I'm like, man, if some shit went down right now because I'm wearing flip flops, I'm like, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't run after. Bart will somewhere. never leave the house in flip flops because of that reason. No, I never travel. In I've never because I never know what's gonna happen. I don't know if there's gonna be a terrorist situation or whatever. So I never ever travel on a plane with flip flops. Always in shoes, ready to run. I've never worn a pair of flip flops in my life. That's why I just train my feet. I'm from the streets. I don't know, man. It's just I'll be on the beach with Air Force Ones. <laughs> just in case. Looking stupid. <laughs> on the beach with cleats. Yeah, just like I don't, I don't know when this this might go a different way. I do the same thing, but that's because sandals are so uncomfortable for me. I really? really? They're pretty comfy. Oh, I wear sneakers that's to the beach. True. I've never seen you wear oh, you sandals. Have? Yeah. yeah I know. You do wear sneakers to the beach. All the time. Because, to the pool. because yeah, they're just not comfortable. I have, my feet are too. Big and it's just annoying, and they slide around too much. And I don't maybe you see. haven't found the right pair of sandals. Maybe I haven't. Thank you. What? Which type of sandals have you tried? Uh, like shady ones. Apparently. The thong 
one. I mean, if Nikki was here, she'd be like, he's only bought $2 ones from Walmart. Like yeah. the thong one. Yeah, I had Bud Light. If you don't get the right ones though, they fucking rub out this area. Yeah, it hurts. And it fucking hurts. Yeah. yeah, I tried those and I tried those fucking dad ones where they have two straps that go over the top of your foot. And I'm don't like, fuck me ones? Yeah. <laughs> They're terrible. They're terrible. Not just looking, but feeling. They're terrible. So you never tried the, the slip on? Like these, like slides. Yeah, those. Oh, I've tried that. Yeah, They're pretty comfy. That nah, sucks. No? Oh. Yeah, Casey hates those too because as he walks, they like slide off. I'm yep. trying to be barefoot. Yep. Yeah, I think that like slippers are terrible for your feet as a whole. I think so. When you're walking. I think really? so. I think they don't support no. your- They're for houses only. I love sandals. They're not for outdoor use. I never want to see another grown man's toes. I just never, mm. whenever I see guys in sandals, I'm always just like. If there wasn't shit and piss on the ground. <laughs> like this guy. Oh my God, that's it. Does it make you feel insecure? <laughs> no, it's just like a- Is it like a sexual thing? No, it's oh. just like, like a sexual thing. Do you have a foot fetish for women and then nah. you don't like to see men? No, nah, just be like, why are your toes out? Have you ever been, have you <laughs> Why? We're Maybe. at the beach, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that a beach, that one? My, my toes do be the bullshit too, so I can be. <laughs> I had my first pedicure like a year and a half ago. Do you like feet on women? Do you like women's feet? Mm hmm. Oh, so that's what I like it. That's so what I said. Similar. No, I know, exactly. Oh, yeah. No, but I'm digging into the little No, deeper. but I just, I, I guess the reason why whenever I see a dude's feet, I'm just like, or toes, I'm just like, because I would never have my toes out. I'm like, what the fuck is your toes out for? Yeah. Mine are away. So you see it as like, it's your dick is out. Yeah, it's a sexual uh, thing. I don't know if I go as far as dick, but. I think it is. <laughs> but it's a, yeah. it's a private I think part. it is. He's like, hey, bro, can you cover your feet up, please? You're making me uncomfortable. No, I'll just be like, why, why am I seeing your toes? Okay. No, 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 you have to dig deep into why it makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> why this is happening why to you. Why does it make you uncomfortable? Man feet is like fucking fucked up though. Yeah, they are. Men, men feet are ugly. And too. they're big and, crusty. and hairy. Yeah. And yeah, chipped hairy. fucking toenails. Yeah, and then the back of their feet is all white and crusty. Yeah, yeah it's all there's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> I always tell him a fucking pumice stone those things and he does not I've been training my feet. You've been training your feet? Yeah, I've been yeah. training my feet to be this way. Yeah. But what if you get Natural a feet got a lot of callus. What if you get a pedicure? I do get pedicures with her every once in a while, like once a year. He's only done it once our whole 10 years together. <laughs> every once in a while, like I said. Why would you want to file down all the good stuff though? Yeah, I built this up. I built this up where I could walk on because my hot. Because file it down, it could this just be why, smooth. This is why he's doing it, uh, is when we're trying to cuddle and then we're trying to play footies. I'm like, what the fuck? You're cutting up my fucking feet. Yeah, that's Stop. embarrassing. Yeah. That's why you use this side. <laughs> Save this side that's for good. battle. That's uh, still kiss. That's like, smart man. It hurts. That's smart man. That's so wait, man. sexually, you're into feet? <laughs> I mean, I put some toes in my mouth before. Yeah, you like that shit? Yeah. I mean, it's good for you. Hey, have you ever had a chick put her feet together and fuck them? <gasps> no. Okay. You can he he thought about it. That's a thing. That's a safe place. Of course it's a thing. I washed them. her fucking feet. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, there's a lot of people like that. People just doing it. They're drilling those feet. When it gets there, it's like, ah, all I over the top. Yeah. I saw one last night with a girl, with guys sitting like this. Last night? And then the girl fucking wrapped around like this and started jacking them off. With her feet? Yeah. Don't touch my dick with your feet. I had okay. a fast okay. forward. That's why I draw them. But you put them in your mouth. But <laughs> I do. <laughs> Maybe I gotta look into this thing. What's wrong with me? All right. Wow. Dude, stick to you. Wow. I That's don't know. Funny. I run barefoot. You run barefoot? What? You ever have a chick finger bang your mouth? <laughs> have I ever had a chick <laughs> finger bang your mouth? No. What the fuck? Well, you're missing like this? Who's? You ever had a girl mouth? finger bang your mouth? Of course. What the? So I can come. <laughs> <laughs> So uptight. That's just weird. I've had girls try to stick their finger in my mouth before. I'd be like, oh, okay. Okay. I'd bomb it. Just not put your everybody. toes in there, not yeah. your finger. Give me the toesies, not the fingers. Not for everybody. Wow. <laughs>